Trains in World 5 Limelight on the Flix Train. Cue the intro. Passengers, Megasim here, and today's video is looking at the German route, the Kinzigtalbahn Frankfurt to Fulda, and the Flix train. So, calling all passengers for Frankfurt, we're going green in Train Well 5 as we bring one of Germany's most biggest cities to life, along with a new variant of one of Train World's most popular locomotives. In this article, we're going to be looking at what makes Frankfurt to Fulda one of the busiest German routes yet, along with how the Vectron deals with passenger trains in its new Flix train guise. We'll also talk more about some of the new and updated features that can be found in Train World 5, such as live map, fast travel, and track shadow rendering. Remember, this Thursday is early access. A reminder if you purchase pre order deluxe special edition players, you will be able to play Train Sim World for the first time later this week. If you've not pre-ordered yet and you do want to take part in this, you can do by clicking links as usual. So, the Dev Diary. I've still not watched part one and part two. Our final one for Train Sim World 5 talks about what they do to bring some of the most innovative trains to the game. Lindsay and Adam discuss the nitty gritty of simulating the technical aspects of both the ICET and the Avanti West Coast Pendolino. So let's get to it. The Frankfurt Fulda route, Kinzigtalbahn. As a vital commuter regional and international hub, the massive Frankfurt main HBF is easily one of the most important stations in Germany. From here, traffic travels in all directions across the country, coming in many forms regional, commuter, and intercity express trains. Bringing Frankfurt to Train Sim World has been a labour of love for much of the development team particularly those based in Europe and Germany. Populating the scenery around the impressive station and recreating the endless network of tracks has been a careful process for those track laying and building up the environment. Beyond Frankfurt, the route heads northeast, beyond the suburbs that surround Frankfurt and out into the wider Hesse region via smaller towns and through verdant and open countryside. The route follows the, the course of the River Main, as far as Hanau and then Kinzig, which gives the line its name, Kinzig Talbahn. A total of 24 stations exist on the 103 km route, located at important locations and junctions along the line, with a number of branches and other main routes spurring from the route and heading out of the map. At Hanau, roughly 21 km from Frankfurt, a stretch of track... Yeah, we're still there. A stretch of track still utilises semaphore signalling, which has been included in game. At the end of the route is Fulda, which lies part way between Kassel and Würzburg from the route previously featured in Train Sim World 3. Players that own this route will be able to use Train Sim World 5's new route hopping feature to transition at Fulda and continue playing from there. Licensed Airbus Aircraft. So, as mentioned in the first roadmap, part one, for the first time, Dovetail have been able to secure licensed aircraft in Trains in World in the form of the Airbus A321LR and the Airbus A350-1000XWB. For Frankfurt Fulda, this allows them to bring the skies above cities to life in all new ways, giving you something to look out for whilst on the move, providing it's not cloudy. As well as Frankfurt Fulda, you'll also see aircraft above the skies of San Bernardino for the Los Angeles to LAX patterns, as well as the forthcoming Great Western Express remaster for the Heathrow patterns. Adding to the aircraft theme in Frankfurt Fulda is the Mastery Tier 2 scenery tile, which shows activity and more planes at the Gelnhausen in the form of an air show. So the trains. We have a total of five different locomotives and units, including the ICET, featured in Frankfurt Fulda, with the Flixtrain BR193 Vectron being an additional locomotive as part of the Trade to World 5 Deluxe and Special Editions. 
So, DBBR 411 ICET. New Trades World's ICE fleet is the DB411, complete with its impressive GNT tilting technology. ICET units have been in service across Germany since 1999, adding a different style of train to that of the ICE-1. The ICET's tilting function, which can reach a maximum of 8 degrees, allows them to travel at higher speeds than conventional trains. Like the Avanti West Coast Pendolino and West Coast Mainline, a separate system is in place to monitor this and needs to be enabled in order for the tilting to take place. This system, GNT, works with other safety systems like PZB, LZB and CIFA to ensure safe operation across the Frankfurt Fulda route. The GNT system needs to be turned on in order for tilting to work and this is a manual process done by the player. Sounds for the ICET were sourced directly from the train during a research trip to Germany. Whilst other ICE trains have also had their audio sourced directly from the train by people on the ground in Germany, this was the first opportunity that the development team had to go out and record an ICE train first hand. The Vectron, so the Flixtrain BR193 Vectron and Talbot coaches, which is included in the deluxe and special editions. So, players of the Deluxe and Special Editions will also be able to take control of the Flix Train Vectron and Talbot coaches. Evolved from the previous Euro Sprinter family and entering service in the early 2010s, the Siemens Vectron family of locomotives were designed as a modular platform to suit the needs of any rail operator in Europe, available in both DC and AC electric, diesel and dual mode options. Collectively, over 2,000 Vectrons have been ordered for use by more than 50 different companies across Europe. This makes the family a well-known and familiar site for all rail fans, even if design specifications differ. Everyone knows the Vectron. So Flixtrain, a brand new partner not just in Trains in World, but for Dovetail Games as a whole. They were founded in 2018 as a private long-distance passenger rail provider in Germany and is part of the travel tech company Flix, known for its global Flixbus brand. Flixtrain operates a fleet of 140 vibrant green, fully refurbished Talbot coaches, which are leased from an external asset company. Being as versatile as they are, the Vectrons make for a good fitting with Flixtrain operations and are used across their whole network. Though existing players may be familiar with the Railpool Vectron Loco add-on from Trains to World 4, its operations on the Dresden Riesa and the s bahn Vorarlberg routes will focus primarily on freight services. The Flixtrain Vectron will instead haul passenger services across the Frankfurt Fulda route. Players will also be able to make use of Flixtrain Vectron across other German routes by spawning in timetable mode. The DBBR193 Vectron so, Frankfurt Fulda also features the DB Vectron in the classic red livery seen across the German network. Like the Railpool variant, this one hauls freight trains across the route and can be substituted into freight services on other routes in your collection where the Railpool Vectron appears. DBBR114 Also new to Trains the World is the DBBR114. This classic electric locomotive sits within a family that's already been represented in previous Trains of World routes with the DBBR143 and the 112, therefore completing the set. The main difference between each locomotive is the permitted top speed, though a number of model changes have also been made over the 143 and 112 too, such as the headlight cluster. The 114 will also support suspension updates. Passenger trains formed of Dostos hauled by this locomotive will also have conductor mode feature available. DBBR146.2 Further passenger services can also be operated by the 1462 as previously seen in the Dresden Riesa and the main Spessart Barn route add-ons. These more modern locomotives will add yet more variety to the Kinzig Talbarn's timetable, an alternative in which to operate passenger trains. The DBBR146.2 electric locomotive is included in Trains World 5's Frankfurt Fulda route. You do not need to own previously released content to access this train. The DBBR1 uh, the DBBR423 also included for busy commuter S-Bahn traffic is the 423 EMU, 
previously seen as a loco add-on for the Kohnachen route add-on and as a train included in the Hauptstrecker München or Augsburg. The DBBR 43 is included in Train to World 5's Frankfurt Fulda Kinzigtalbahn route. You do not need to own previously released content to access the train. Timetable, layers, gameplay. An extensive and complex timetable has been implemented into Frankfurt, not only to make full use of the variety of trains from within the route, but also those from the wider German content back catalogue. This includes layering using multiple add-ons. The type of services available to operate in Frankfurt Fulda include the ICE team will run ICE services the full length of the route between Frankfurt and Fulda. The DBBR 114 and 146 locomotives with Dostos will run RE and RB passenger services between Frankfurt and Fulda. Some services originate from locations beyond the map such as Würzburg and Bamberg. At peak hours, some RE50 services will be top and tailed. Empty stock movements are also available to operate. The DBBR193 Vectron freight services with SGG MRSS, Hablins and Kil Kijils uh, wagons. The DBBR43 S-Bahn services, S8 and S9 services are playable for part of the journey. Other S-Bahn services are AI only. So, additional service layers and layer selector. Tracer World 5's new layer selector will feature, will allow fe uh, players to see what additional services are available from other add-ons, both in their collection or those that they have yet to purchase. This new feature also allows layers to be toggled on and off as desired. So, an overview of additional service layers is as follows. FlixTrain BR193 Vectron passenger services are available for players of the Deluxe and Special Editions of Trains World 5 or if you purchase the additional Loco as an add-on and they will release on launch. Playable ICE 1 and 3 services from the Kessel Versberg route add-on. This add-on also unlocks route hopping at Fulda where AR Kessel Versberg services can be seen heading in and out of the map. Playable IC services using the DBBR 101 loco add-on. AI trains representing NJ services formed of IC coaches, layers wagons and hauled by OBB 1116 locomotives. Semmingbahn, S-Bahn Vorarlberg and Hauptstracker Rhein Ruhr Austin add-ons are all required to unlock them. Mostly AI DBBR 425 service from Bremen Oldenburg route add-on. These can be seen at Frankfurt, HBF, Sud, Hanau and Schlutern. Schlutern. A small number of playable services are available. Playable and AI DBBR 628 DMU services from Niedertalbahn route add-on. These appear in the DB Red livery. Some playable DBBR 642 services from the main Talbahn route add-on. DBBR 103 Rail Tour service from the Link Rheinstrecker route add-on. Shunting services at Steinau using the DBBR 363 and stock from the Ruhr Signord and the Hauptstrecker Rhein Ruhr route add-ons. As is typical of German routes and trains in world, playable locomotive substitutions for both freight and passenger services are available for players with additional content in the collection. This includes the Rail Pool Vectron, the Press BR155, MRCE locomotives and more. Freight stock from other, other add-ons will also layer in to create a variety of consists for freight trains. These include the layer rag wagons from S-Bahn Vorarlberg, VTG Enos wagons from Kessel Versberg, Ruse T wagons from Maintalbahn, the UACNS 82 wagons from Rusig Nord and the Zach NS wagons from Dresden Resda. Dresden Resda, Dresden Reiser, Reiser. Similarly, the DBBR 193 Vectron from Frankfurt Fulda will substitute into freight services on other European route add ons, and the DBBR 114 will do likewise for passenger services. Notable additional AI traffic can also be seen DBBR 642 DMU traffic at Frankfurt Hanau, Gelnhausen and Fulda from the Maintalbahn route add on. Trains heading out of the map to Askaffenburg, in and around Hanau, 
including IC and freight trains. Kessel-Versberg services heading in and out of the map at Fulda. The DBBR442 trains at both Frankfurt and Fulda from Kessel-Versberg route add-on. And static locomotive from the DBBR218 loco add-on. Oh, that's a lot of layers. And hopefully, West Coast Mainline will have some serious layers because they don't have enough at the moment. Okay, 8th Gen Console Services. After reviewing performance on previous generation consoles, Dovetail have amended the timetable to provide a suitable experience for these players. Timetable services included for these consoles are formed of the DBBR114 and Dostos for the RB51, RE51, RE50, RE54 and RE55 services. And ICET services with additional Flixtrain Vectron layers for owners of Deluxe Special Edition. Other locomotives included in the route such as the DB Vectron will be available to operate by spawning them into the timetable. What that means is you won't get AI versions you are only able to drive it. So you can select it to drive it, but it won't be an AI. West Coast timetable, West Coast mainline timetable. In addition, further amendments have been made to the timetable of West Coast mainline for the eighth gen console players. The timetable will now consist of the class 350 and 377 services with additional West Coast Class 390 Pendolino services available for Deluxe Special Edition players. Other trains included in the route such as the Class 66 and London Underground stock will be available to operate by spawning them into the timetable. So here is another reminder, the AI versions of the 66 and the London Underground will not appear. It will only be spawned in when you drive it, but you won't see any AI. It's tough. It's tough. But this is Gen 8. Gen 8 is old, and it's good that they've kept up with it, but there are some stru they are struggling with it. So we've had the news for West Coast Mainline, Frankfurt Fulda, and San Bernardino for that. And there are limitations. New and updated call features. So live map 2.0. So with so many available services to operate in and out of Frankfurt, Terrain to World 5's updated live map feature will be invaluable to players wanting to understand the operations around them. And if using free roam's path setting function, plot your way along the tracks between other trains moving around the route. The introduction of a more detailed legend, highlighting signal aspects and direction, stations, speed limits, objectives and more, will make the route much more navigable for players unfamiliar with the real world routes and make plotting paths a much simpler process. The maps crucially also displays live information about the trains in and around you on the route. Wondering why one train has priority over you coming into Frankfurt? Hover over it to find out. It's an express train. There you go. That explains it. Where is that train going ahead of me? Will I have to follow it for long? No, nope. it's a regional service heading out of the map. Knowing this information will help you feel part of the network and timetable you're working to and ensure that you don't miss anything exciting coming or going around your current location. Fast travel. The map also allows for the new fast travel feature whereby players can choose to relocate themselves within a route. This is particularly useful for once you've completed a service and want to explore other parts of the route or different services at another location. You can even go back to where you came from and start again with a completely new train. And you didn't hear this from Dovetail, but they've heard it's a fantastic way to pick up all those lovely root collectibles too. Yes, you can fast travel to try and find them. You won't be able to teleport just anywhere on the long map. There are specific location markers which come up for major yards, sidings and stations, and in other preset locations, and can be found in the live map. This feature will function work across compatible content where existing spawn points are already included. So get ready to jump into Train to World 5 and get to the action as you find it. The combination of fast travel and live map updates may bring new gameplay opportunities and extensions to your sessions. 
After running into Frankfurt with an ICT, you might see an interesting service taking place elsewhere. Perhaps waiting to depart back to Folder, hover over the train, find out what it is, fast travel over there and operate it. Track Shadow Rendering, available on Select Route Add-ons. If you missed the reveal in the roadmap article, they've also been able to improve the rendering draw distance system for shadows on the track, so you will no longer see a harsh cut of shading following ahead of you as you drive. As a reminder, in addition, all Trains to World 5 routes and future add-ons, this feature will be implemented into the following back catalogue routes. Salzburg Rosenheim, Neverka Dresden, S-Bahn Vorarlberg, Kessel Versberg, Maintailbahn, Link Rheinstrecker, Bremen Oldenburg, Nidertalbahn, Simmeringbahn, Long Island Railroad Commuter, Antelope Valley Line, Cajon Pass, Boston Sprinter, East Coast Main Line, London Overground Suffragette Line, South Eastern High Speed, Glossop Line, and LGV Mediterranean. There's a lot of German ones there. You see how there's a lot of stuff going on in Germany with the layers and with the extra features they do a lot of work over there and they make it work for the German routes but it's a popular thing anyway route hopping they've covered route hopping in more detail on the San Bernardino line but as a reminder players with selective routes in their collection will be able to jump between routes that share a common location without returning to the main menu Wednesday, 11th of September, you can view a preview of the Frankfurt Folder Kensington Barn route, and you can still pre order Trains in World 5 with the deluxe and special editions giving you early access from Thursday. My name is Megasim. That was a long video and a long thing to talk about. I don't know if it came out yesterday or today. No idea. But anyway, have a great evening, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Le Mega Sim and Train Real World, and I will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim, and here. See you soon, guys. Bye.